This is an MX650. You could do this on anything electric, uh, Razor dirt bikes, power wheels. I'm gonna do it on the RZR uh, Peg Perego next so the kids will know when to come home. So the way I have this one set up, um, this turns on that one and this turns on that one. So the reasoning behind them is I got 48 volts um, lipo four, uh, four or life four L I F E P O four, and I wanted to be able to make sure I don't run it down too low. So this I got it actually was rated for 50 volts, but when these are fully charged, they're closer to like 53 or more volts. So this really didn't do what I wanted to do. So I ran it to my first and second battery in series so I can keep track of at least half the batteries. So when I do the math, you know, and it goes down to 25, it will beep at me and I'll know that I'm getting pretty low. And then this one is to keep track of all four of my batteries. Um, it doesn't beep, it just is a simple voltmeter. So I'm at 52.6. So with this, you, you can set it. Back here, there's a button. See those two white buttons? Right there and there. If you hold the top one down, it will blink. And then you can press it up. And that will set your threshold for your high limit. And so if you start charging your batteries and it goes over that limit, it'll start beeping at you to warn you. And I don't really need that one, but I like the low limit. So you, you would wait for it to stop flashing. And then you press the low button, hold it down, it'll flash. And I set it at 25 volts. So when two of my batteries get to 25 volts, it'll start beeping at me and I know I don't have very long before I need to get home. Um, and that is kind of the theory behind that, why I have two. So, and you need to have switches to turn them on and off or they'll always be on. So, how I did that was, uh, let's see if I can get all this out of here. So, I didn't have any tiny wire, although I found it after the job was done. So I have this massive, way too big a wire here, but it's all I had and I wanted to get it done. So if you know anything about series, um, that's the first step you're going to need to know. And this is too much of a mess to try and teach you. I don't want to steer you wrong and hurt yourself. So basically for the 48 volt, one, which is this one. I took the positive from the first battery into it and the negative from the last battery into it. That's measuring my 48 volts. This one, I'm only measuring half the pack at uh, two of the packs. So I took the positive from the first battery and the negative from the second battery. And so that's monitoring these two and that'll at least give me a feel of what's going on because I've tested these packs and the first and third seemed to run close to voltage together and the second and fourth. So I knew if I tied those two together, I'd have a pretty good reading. So anyway, um, what you do is these are single pull switches. So single pull, single throw, SPST, I believe, STSP, something like that. The positive goes into the switch and then out of the switch into my meter. And then my negative from the ground of the battery just goes in there. And then same thing, the ground um, goes, I have it going, let's see. Oh, into this one has the ground going into it here, and then it jumps the positive to the switch, 
and then this positive goes down to the battery. So now you can keep track of your voltage. And it doesn't matter what type of battery you have, you really want to keep an eye on your voltage because if you deplete it too much, it damages it. We got sealed lead acid batteries here. These are, uh, you don't want to drain these too low. They're meant for deep cycling, but you don't want to drain them too low. And then obviously any lithium battery, um, if you drain it too low, is going to damage it. These have BMS built into them, battery management systems built in. So you can't go too low but uh with these you can start to feel the machine slowing down and you go i better get home with any type of lithium battery it's all out until there's nothing left so you don't want to be stuck out you know hundreds of yards away from your house so this will help me monitor when i need to start heading back by experience so i have a lot of videos on this build um check them out I have how to change the front sprocket for more torque um, I've, I've put on some wheel spokes I haven't made a video of that yet this is the uh, um, plastics I made all the stickers I painted it all right well subscribe and check out my other videos Soon I'll be making one about how to shunt this to give more amperage discharge. Um, all right, let's well, see it.